Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about the substance caffeine and looking into research to determine if it helps or harms your athletic performance. So before looking into the benefits of how caffeine can affect your performance, I wanted to give a little basic rundown about caffeine and what is it. So caffeine is the world's most widely consumed simulant substance. About 90% of adults consume some form of caffeine on a regular basis, and approximately 96% of caffeine intake comes from beverages including coffee, soft drinks, and tea. There are different forms of caffeine that can be taken in through food or through other types of drinks such as energy drinks, energy gels, chocolate, uh, so the options are endless. Uh, the top right picture is just a basic molecular structure of caffeine and just to show you how that molecule is formed. And then the bottom table shows a rough estimate of the amount of milligrams per cup of caffeine in certain drinks and foods that are commonly known for having caffeine in them. Now to look into some of the benefits of caffeine use. Caffeine blocks the primary effects of adenosine, which is a neurotransmitter that calms down brain activity and decreases fatigue. Caffeine provides a, quote, stay awake feeling by connecting caffeine molecules to adenosine receptors without activating those receptors, causing a decrease in fatigue. When looking into how caffeine can affect athletic performance, research has shown that caffeine can improve mood increase metabolism and fat burning properties, improve muscle contractions, and increase tolerance to fatigue. With caffeine being a highly addictive substance to ingest, there are a lot of side effects that can occur when taking caffeine on a regular basis. Those side effects include anxiety, headaches, restlessness, jitteriness, tremors, and tachycardia, which is an increase in heart rate. But also, if you take caffeine for a while and then you completely stop going through the process of withdrawal, there are adverse effects to that as well, which include slowed mental activity, migraines, and decreased alertness. When comparing different types of athletes, there are similarities in the effects of caffeine on their athletic performance. For endurance athletes, the main benefits from caffeine included an increase in speed endurance, a overall endurance performance enhancement, and the implementation of caffeine benefits long distance runners, cyclists, and soccer athletes based on the research found. For strength and power athletes, the benefits of caffeine included an increase in quickness and reaction time, a increase in agility, their sports-specific biokinetic movements were more precise, and the speed of skill completion was increased as well. Based on the NCAA guidelines for caffeine use, caffeine is considered a banned substance in the NCAA with being labeled under the stimulant category of banned substances. And you may be thinking, how is it a banned substance when it can be taken in on a regular basis? Well, the NCAA goes into a more in-depth discussion about caffeine intake and says that for caffeine to be a positive result on a drug test, an athlete must intake more than 500 milligrams of caffeine before the drug test to become positive. That, that is how it makes it a banned substance. Drug testing is used to determine if an athlete has been taking banned substances. And if a positive drug test is found, the student athlete will lose one full year of eligibility for their first offense and be withheld from competition for 365 days from the day of testing. So now that all of the information has been given, what now? Here are some recommendations for athletes when they want to ingest caffeine for training. Each person's physiological effects to caffeine is different based on their body composition and genetic makeup. 
A good time to ingest caffeine would be one to two hours prior to activity to have the best results. If this does not work, an athlete can experiment caffeine dosage and intake time during training to find the right balance. When it comes to the right amount of caffeine, the recommended intake should be between 2 to 6 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, with that amount being no more than 9 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I hope that the information given benefits you in your future athletic performance.